Eminem is the greatest rapper of all time, and I'm going to be telling you exactly why in this video. So I'm going to start by reading my notes for this video. I have a list of all the reasons why I think that. I also have some counterpoints that people often bring out when they're talking about why he's not great or not the GOAT. And yeah, this is hopefully going to be a good discussion. If you agree or disagree, let me know down in the comments and we can have a talk about it. So the first reason that I think is the biggest reason actually is how long he stayed relevant. Now I'm recording this in 2024, but he dropped his first album 25 years ago now, Slim Shady LP. And through all the ups and downs ever since that came out, he's been relevant and in the news ever since. Being able to constantly come up with new personas, new flows, new eras as people like to call it, is very difficult. And that's why we see a a lot of people like Nas who's still a great rapper but he hasn't evolved as much as Eminem has in my opinion. To start off with that shock value where a lot of your career is based on making people mad or being controversial, being able to turn from having a small niche fan base of rebels, people that like the offensive rap and turning it into being the biggest rapper of all time. That's crazy on its own, but holding yourself to that high standard for three decades now is something I've never seen done by anybody else. Next up is the impact on not only the culture, but the whole genre itself. You have people like 50 Cent, OB Trice, D12, plenty of this younger generation as well, talking about how much Eminem has impacted them and inspired them to keep rapping. Any other competition that we would put these artists in, he's obviously surpassed them. There's a reason basically every big rapper puts Eminem in their top five, and I think that's a big reason why people respect him so much. Kind of branching off that point is the reach that he has. I mean, you have people from younger generations, as he talks about on Sing for the Moment, that listen to Eminem just by themselves. You have grandparents listening to Eminem. You have everyone in between. So I think that whole reach that he has is very impressive. I know a lot of other artists have that, but that's just something that's not very common. Now, I don't want to act like popularity is a super important point when you're talking about being a GOAT or not, but stats don't lie, and the fact that Eminem has the most record sales of all time is pretty mind-blowing. I mean, like I talked about earlier, 25 years straight of honestly quality. I mean, people talk about maybe a dip, other people say that he's improved, but either way, it just proves he's not another one-hit wonder, not another vanilla ice. No, he has the most record sales of any rapper of all time, and that's the hardest point to argue against, in my opinion. Like I said, stats don't lie. Now, one of the biggest reasons people like J. Cole, for example, is the fact that he can produce his own songs. I think that's very impressive, and that's something that Eminem does. Now, he's not exactly the alchemist when he's making a beat. He's not some crazy producer, but he can hold his own. He's made some hits off his own beats, and I think it's very important to be well-rounded in the whole genre, not just the rapping or songwriting side of it. No, he's got the delivery, the production, the lyrics, all that, and that kind of leads into originality. I think it's cool to see not just boom bap. You have the whole comedic side. You have the serial killer side. You have the offensive side. You have the pop side with the new or M. You got the fast rapping, and that's a big part of his appeal. He's got something for everybody. Maybe if you're trying to listen to something edgy, you have like 97 Bonnie and Clyde or Kim, but if you want to hear something like lyrically complex, you have the way I am, rap god, and that's something that I like to see. I don't like to see artists box themselves into one flow or you know one subgenre. I like to see a wide range. It just proves that you're a better artist all around. Next, we have the whole rap battle side of Eminem. If you didn't know this, he started off his career as a battle rapper, if you want to call it, where he would just do rap battles, exactly how it sounds, freestyling against each other, beefing. Now, obviously, there's a lot more to being the GOAT than just being good at rap battles, but it just kind of shows how he gained the respect as a rapper in the beginning, and I think that's pretty impressive. It's a good point to bring up. Lastly, we have the fact that he's timeless, and I think he's aged very well as an artist. He has countless classic songs like Sing for the Moment, My Name Is, The Way I Am, Who Knew, The Real Slim Shady. Everybody knows those songs. If that comes on on the radio, you've heard it before. Before I actually became a fan even, I'd heard all those songs. They're honestly a staple to the genre, the same way New York State of Mind by Nas is, or something like Heartless by Kanye West. They're very iconic songs, and you can't deny the impact that they've made and how long they've lasted. Now that's all the reasons that I have for him being the GOAT. I'm gonna talk about a couple potential reasons why he's not, and I'm gonna dispute them. I'm gonna try and show both sides to this. So a lot of people say after the encore Eminem show era that he completely fell off. Which is kind of true, I mean he's never really seen that same commercial success since he had then. But as he became sober, he completely changed as a rapper. If you look at his lowest selling album ever, it's Revival, that pop one that a lot of people didn't really like, that still went platinum. I don't know if any other rapper can say their worst album has gone platinum with how much hate Revival got. If you were paying attention when Revival came out, you saw how much hate that got. That was in the news for none of the right reasons. But numbers wise, yes, he's never reached that height, but I think he's evolved as an artist. If you look at something like Relapse, it's just shown that he can really tap back into that Slim Shady persona with that whole murder theme, the crazy rhyme schemes. Rapping wise, he's honestly got better. People just don't like the delivery or the lyrical content side of it. But instead of just complaining after Revival did bad or telling us that we're all wrong, he used that as motivation to drop another album, Kamikaze, and that's known as one of his best albums to this day. So it just kind of shows with the right motivation, he still has it completely. Another reason that I actually keep seeing in my comments is that Dr. Dre signing Eminem is what made him famous. I don't think this is true at all, actually. I mean, 25 years later and still being relevant speaks for itself. If you could get signed and be famous for this long, why isn't every other rapper this famous?
business. There's people that have been signed to bigger deals than Eminem and they fall off quicker than him. So I don't think a sign could make your whole career. You still got to hold your own at some point. It definitely did give him the push that he needed. Without that, I don't think he would be where he is today. But it's kind of ridiculous to say that's the only reason that he is as big as he is today. And lastly, people say that he's too controversial. This is pretty easy to just push away and say that's your opinion, but it has some reality to it. I think Eminem would be much bigger if he didn't have so much controversy. I know people that don't listen to him specifically because of political things he said or whatever, but to go against that, if he weren't to be speaking his mind, people would call him fake and everything, so there's really no winning in this situation. Like I kind of just said a second ago, it's all personal preference, so if you think it's too controversial, you can listen to someone else, or he has his songs that aren't controversial. I've noticed every album, even like the Relapse, even like the Marshall Mathers and Slim Shady LP, they have those controversial songs that could get some people upset, but they also have those mainstream songs. Maybe Relapse has same song and dance that could be offensive to some, but it also has Forever with Drake, Kanye, Lil Wayne, and Eminem. So there's something for everybody to enjoy. So yeah, these are my reasons why Eminem's the GOAT. If you agree with me, let me know down below. If you disagree, also let me know. I'm down to learn more, so give me some input down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.